Hello, welcome to another tutorial video. So now we're going to be looking at the uh, reading paper, uh, sorry, the reading section of the language paper. We'll be looking at the assessment objectives. And the assessment objectives basically means what you're being assessed, what you're aiming for um, in terms of uh, getting marks. So what you need for marks, basically. Um, every year after the exams, a mark scheme is sent to the examiners and they have to use it to try and ascertain what grade you should get. Now the basic principles behind them are what the assessment objectives are and then it changes uh, every year based on what exactly what the parameter of the question is and exactly what uh, the obviously question contains in terms of the text. So breaking it down then is going to start from the assessment objectives because that's what they base everything else on. The questions are actually derived uh, made up to satisfy these requirements so in essence all of your English in the exam comes down to these two paragraphs here so it's really important that you know what kind of skills could be called on and then any question that does ask you to demonstrate your skills from this will you'll be able to do if you actually understand what it is you have to do and that's what we're going to look at now so the very first objective then is assessment objective is to read and understand texts select material as appropriate to purpose collating from different sources and making comparisons and cross references as appropriate so we'll go through each bit in uh, in its in its own right but the basic meaning of the whole thing is you have to have the ability to read and that doesn't just mean read the text it means read the punctuation and also read sorry it doesn't mean just read the, the letters and words it means read the punctuation what it means and also read pictures and understand what they're referring to as well you have to be able to pick things out uh, the most appropriate things and you need to be able to compare different items at different times so we'll look into this bit what I've done here in blue is I've actually just kind of paraphrased it into something that is um, hopefully uh, a little easier to, to digest so you have to be able to read and understand text so that makes sense of all the symbols so the letters and the numbers and the punctuation all have to be understood and uh, as do sorry the pictures so you have to be able to say what they um, mean and entail etc denote whatever you want to uh, take from that and they have to be in the right sequence so obviously the structure of how something is put is a lot more important so you know for example that uh, a full stop after doctor is different the sorry than the abbreviation of the dr for doctor is different than the use of a full stop at uh, the end of a sentence for example and then a list of three full stops in a row uh, in a story might be denoting uh, suspense or obviously trailed off or missing words whereas <clears throat> whereas you know for for a dramatic purpose or in a excuse me in a quotation then it's showing you that there are just some words missing so you understand what things mean at the right time Selecting material appropriate to purpose, basically this means you pick out what you need to answer the question and if you look over the examiner's reports time and time and time again there's always always uh, seems to be a question where it says that you know, some students didn't pick up on this properly, some students didn't fully answer this um, and f so for example there are many a time when many a time sorry when there's a, an extract which has two sides of an argument with it but then the students will seem to read the whole extract but then only talk about one side of the argument not wanting to discuss the other side and that's not answering the question because the question will be asking you for both sides nine times out of ten especially in the first question when you're just supposed to be picking out the information the third thing you need to be able to do is you need to collate information from different sources so you have to be able to pick out things from different sources extracts and combine them so if you are going to be talking about humor for example across two extracts you want to be able to pick out examples or if you're going to be talking about the use of similes from two extracts then you'll be able to pick out both examples and use them in one paragraph it's also worth noting again <laughs> to refer to the chief examiner's reports that uh, they said that there was a, almost a formula uh, and some there was a formulaic response of talking about one then talking about the other in uh, essay writing rather than trying to you know deal with it on a quotation by quotation basis where you have you talk about poem A, poem B, poem A, poem B for example or text A, text B, text A, text B in one paragraph it seems like there's a very clear differentiation of everything people know about A in one and then everything people know about B in the other and the examiner said that wasn't as uh, 
a higher skill of, of collating the evidences as they would expect from, from higher level candidates. So that's worth bearing in mind. You have to be able to make comparisons. So as well as being able to bring the items out and show that they're relevant, you have to be able to say how they are used in a similar and or different way. And you also need to be able to cross-reference. That means go back to things that you have mentioned before if they are coming up in a different light or if they are more relevant to another question. So, for example, if you're mentioning a word, uh, excuse me, if you're mentioning, an, uh, mentioning a word and with one train of thought it seems to indicate what has one meaning, then in another, in another frame of mind it might have another. And in the example we're going to look at from the June 2011 paper, there's, there's a good example of this on question number, sorry, extra number two so um, if you are going to go through this whole series with us then uh, look out for that so that's uh, bit by bit and obviously I'm going to put this up on Facebook for you so you can download it and have a look at it it won't be color coded unfortunately on Facebook but uh, I'm sure you will get over that so a detailed explanation all in all then all the skills that you need is you need to make sense of everything that's on the page in its sequence you need to be pick you need to pick out what you need to answer the question from various sources and you need to combine them for use and you need to show how items are used in a similar in a similar or different ways and I've hi I, um, highlighted items there because the items could be referring to pictures or it could be referring to punctuation or words or literary techniques whatever it whatever the question is obviously um, asking you to do depending on what focus is and pick the right time and item to bring it up so if you remember this red section here that's the general skill you need okay now whether you think that the red part is actually slightly easy to understand than the black part there it's just a little more detailed so hopefully it's using all the things or the words that you're more familiar with rather than the um, you know, cross references and material appropriate to purpose so that basically again is just summed up in there um, and I would pay close attention to that just to make sure that you can uh, hit that assessment objective very well like I say if you have those skills or if you're able to understand those five elements then you're going to go a long way to doing well a long way towards doing well in the exam and obviously I'm going to be showing you them referencing them when we do the model answers